Well, it's been a real point of pride that the University of Arizona led a mission to grab a sample of an asteroid and bring it to Earth. Now, as Kega 9's Craig Smith reports, those samples are teaching us more about the early days of our solar system and maybe more about how, how life began. It's been not quite two years since U of A's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft brought back a sample from the asteroid Bennu. Scientists jumped on those samples right away, and in that time, they found some interesting surprises in that gift from space. It is not a stretch to call the capsule that delivered samples from Bennu a time capsule. So they're giving us a glimpse not only as to what happened in the last few hundred million years of the asteroids history, but all the way back to the very beginning of our solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. The University of Arizona led the OSIRIS REx mission that traveled millions of miles to the asteroid Bennu grabbed a sample and brought it to Earth, where scientists can do the sort of analysis you just can't do remotely. Associate Professor Jessica Barnes is one of those scientists. She's co-written a new article about what they found. It and two other articles on Bennu just came out in the prestigious journal Nature Astronomy. Scientists believe Bennu was part of a larger asteroid that formed far from Earth, at least as far away as Saturn. It includes actual stardust that predates our solar system plus water and chemicals connected to early life. That raises the possibility an asteroid could have planted life on Earth. Bennu contains all the stuff you would need to start life on Earth. Whether or not Bennu's, uh, parts of Bennu's parent body or an asteroid similar to Bennu was the actual culprit, if you like, in bringing that material to Earth is still TBD. Um, but certainly it gets us closer to understanding what was out there in the earliest uh, parts of our solar system. Modern science can produce big discoveries from tiny samples. OSIRIS-REx was able to collect more than twice as much from the asteroid as mission managers expected. So there's plenty of potential for new breakthroughs to come. At the University of Arizona, Craig Smith, KGUN 9.